Hello and welcome to Labyrinth of Nightmares, Might of the Demons. Now I cannot speak German, but I think I can do a bit of translation onto this loading screen text. In depths of the Broken Isles, an Alliance expedition is sent to explore an underground labyrinth. Suddenly the group finds themselves falling through crackling ground and they fall into a great underground hall. This map was made by High Workshop member and creator Zordrak. Now, shamefully, most of the text is in German and I cannot speak German, so apologize me while I go into quests, oh, which are all translated into English and they cover most of the information that you'll need. They still won't warn you in, uh, like, if you see a red text on the screen, you're most probably fucked. But that is a different thing, so here you have everything that you need to know that is essential. So. There you have like legendary artifacts, exploration information, and keyboard commands, cheats, and credits. So the only really important out of out of the quest quest informations are the text commands. So you can zoom out. Ho oh, ho, really far, aren't we? And then you can zoom back in using the mouse wheel. And as you can see, you have a tank and two warriors, so no healer. So keep in mind that you need to manage health of all your free heroes. If any of them die, you're finished. Now, one of them is extremely greedy. There, see? This mage has a whole vault waiting for items to be filled with. So you can here you can store all the items that you otherwise wouldn't be able to take with yourself. And you can recover them at any time, as long as the Archmage lives. But anyway, if the Archmage dies, you've lost. So, that's about it. Each and one of them, now every one of them, has a basic skill set, but has a different ultimate. So the Archmage has Transmute, because he's greedy. Dwarf has Empowered Avatar. And the uh, Blood Mage has Earthquake that does damage and slows by 85%. So that's the first introduction to... The Alliance Expedition, as you'll see. So those are the first things you need to know before you reach the first gate and get down into the labyrinth. Now, the first few groups you'll encounter will be just skeletons and undead, but as you, per as you proceed through the labyrinth, you'll find more things to fight and more entities or more creatures. It's not going to be just undead bones for the whole time. No, it's not. You'll also encounter demons, and bosses, and riddles that you'll need to solve. Oh, it doesn't look... It doesn't look like that. <sighs> no, I didn't. Mean. It doesn't look like there's much to do now, does it? But don't you worry, it'll pick up the pace over the course of time. Yeah, that comes for you. Oh, that wrecked. Reason why I picked up Thunderclap is because the Blood Mage's Flame Strike does considerably less damage. And the Banish basically disables enemy from the fight for longer, which is what I need. See? It's just like there are some fights where disabling a key enemy will win you the fight, certainly. Now, in between smaller fights, as I've said, you will need to manage health of your heroes because there is no way other than their natural regeneration to heal up. But as you proceed, you will get your hands onto healing items and those healing items are invaluable as you don't have a healer in your party see let's disable the seal elemental and suddenly damage of those three drops by what 50 percent now 50 percent doesn't seem like much but it is a big number get banished again <laughs> aside from what i've been saying so far this map is supposed to combine, well, at first, it is supposed to be similar to Warcraft 3 War Chasers. Stop focusing my arc, my you shit. Alright, so, this map is supposed to be similar to Blizzard's War Chasers. That you can obviously tell the differences. This map is for solo, and you have three heroes. And there is the regeneration I talked about. Rune and the Hellstone. Because you can move the Hellstone around on your heroes, and it acts as the last resort, because it goes for 500, it is quite powerful, isn't it? So this map is supposed to be similar to Blizzard's War Chasers, I'm saying that for the third time, I know. 
and it also is supposed to have some elements from other games like Turok, Unreal and Zelda. Now I don't know what those elements are, but I'm sure I'm find, I'll find them out in time. Also there is a network of warp gates around the map. Or I mean like the teleport gates. Which can bring you to various places and if you pick the right gate, you can gain a lot. If you pick the wrong gate, you can seriously walk into your own demise. So you just have to be careful. And some of the fights, especially at the starting phase, are very tough to finish. I mean, very tough to do at all. Now, here used to be a bug, but as I was told, it's already fixed, so let's see if it is fixed. I mean, I'm not doubting the map maker, I'm just making sure that I won't die like I did before. Ah, it's fixed. You see, those sea giants, watch out for their spin attack. Yep, those. Those spin attacks used to deal 150 damage each. But now they're fixed, so I'm glad to see that they are fixed. And this spinner is starting to annoy me. Just like, come on, the tank is going below 50% health. And the chance to spin is like 15%. Oh well, whatever. There. So this, unlike the elementals on the left side, this is a fight you must undergo because the group of sea giants holds a key to a gate that you need to go through. And also you get a Bracer of Agility, which adds Agility, obviously. And I'm keeping it on the Mountain King, because Agility also adds Armor. And Armor? On Tank? You can't have Tank without Armor. Not a serious Tank, at least in my opinion. So here comes one of the more difficult early fights. Let's get it done. So, oh hey! A group of walking bones, that should be easy, right? Well, no, it's not. Not absolutely. At least I think it's not, but we'll see. Alright, retreat, get another water elemental to tank it all, and start again. I can always move the tank behind the two mages. They can tank something as well. It's just that the Mountain King has lower armor than Archmage? Are you shitting me right now? Oh well. Well, this is one of the harder fights, but like you can you can do it at the start. Oh, wrong ping, sorry. So once you finish off this fight, which is first one where you encounter demons units, like they are undead, but they are under control of demons, here you will see that there are some cages. Oh, what can be in the cages? Well, if that is your question, then let me answer it once I beat this skeleton and get a rune. So, for those who can speak German, they can already know what is in those cages. For those who not, you are to be surprised. And spoiler, no, they are not items. Oh, look! It's the other half of the Alliance Expedition. You wouldn't think that only the heroes were the expedition, right? Alliance wouldn't be that foolish, or would they? Well, there are your units, and you will get only a few of them. So keeping them alive is more than... Im like, it's... Keeping those units alive is valuable. Now, here is the first part where you see... Some differences. Right. Yo, get beat up. Alright, I'll eventually beat this zombie. As I don't want to lose too many of my units. Yes, there's some. Uh, fuck you! That was mine. That was mine. You. Fuck off. I'm not losing more. Finally. Yes, I managed to fuck up and almost lose all of the woodmen. At least some of them are alive. Now, let's do it like this. 
you require my assistance? This prattle bore is probably me. equip it on Jank. Let's take the healing. What is it now? You share a door. There. Now I have to keep my footman in the back because I they're almost dead. I mean nearly dead. Now. What is it now? Oh, blue. Ah, oh, that was surely the last zombie, right? Well, no, it was not. Hello. Talk about zombies, hey? No. Oh, I knew why to banish. Because it is super powerful. The mages can sometimes be a lot more useful than a healer. But, you know, a part of... I mean, a kind of everything is good. And, spoiler, those are not the only two zombies that you'll face. And if you're wondering why are they dealing so much damage, then that is... Because one of the footmen is alive. And you can, uh, you can actually like lure the zombie to this area, or try to lure it, then kill it near the area so you can like resurrect all of your footmen. Maybe. So, let's see. Another group of zombies. Yeah, so they are dealing a high amount of damage because they have chaos attack. And that is quite annoying. Other than being really powerful and hard to deal with. But don't worry. There are also more runes to save you. I hope. Nope, my hero, you leave it be. Yeah, brilliant, but also, nope, nope. And I lost one again. Yep, fuck you. As I'm terrible at talking and playing at the same time, I know. Oh, well, let's see what rune I get. Healing. Good. Not good enough though, but better than nothing. There goes rune of mana. Excellent. And I think there are four more zombies awaiting. Yep. Alright, let's flame strike them. The sooner you kill one of the zombies, the less health you'll lose. But like, that is an obvious fact. Rune of Speed, I don't think that one is anyhow useful. Here, have a water elemental. About the footman, if you compare the footmen to zombies, like one zombie would be probably able to kill three or four of the footmen, so... It probably is better to keep them in the back line. Come on. Rush through, Elemental. Oh, I've triggered four. Oh, well, fuck. Alright, we'll have to do this somehow. Let's see if I can load one of them. Because if I can't, then I'm done for. Woohoo! No, I can't! Come on, move! Move, you fool! Oh, this is a perfect situation! I have them locked! Now, this will not pay off because I'll need to heal up my hero at some point, but. Oh, healing soul. Very glad to see that. Burn. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, is he stuck? <laughs> hey, zombie, I heard you can't walk through small corridor. Never mind. Move. Move, you fools. Oh, true. That was almost too close. Down goes another one. Rune of Restoration. Oh dear. Do you see something? Yeah, just like you want to tank with the Mountain King, but you don't want to over tank the situation. There. 
Oh, lesser resurrection again. Well, shamefully, the other footman that I lost again, his corpse is already gone. So, what do you need? Well, so that's two goose dealt with, and I already am at 600 gold. Well, almost. And looky, it's Ang of Resurrection. No, wrong order. Let me use the healing saw. So the order, and I had to ask Mapmaker because there is no hint on how to unlock this. I've tried several combinations and none of them seem to work. Is this one. Aha! What now? Will you reset the camera? No? What? Oh, there, find me. So, the Mountain King has regenerated to his full health. Oh, a crate. Let's see. Tome of Agility. Yes, please. Oh, another crate. Minor replenishment. Well, let's keep that on the Archmage. And break the gate. And create a water elemental. Now I am not going to walk in. I am going to walk in, but I'm first going to plane strike all those Murlocs. Thunderclad. You can also banish your own hero out of, like, if he's near death, you can banish him and save him from the dead. It won't work for too long, but it will work for some time. Like, you can prevent your own loss. There, Rune of Mana and Gloss of Haste. Let's do a bit of inventory management. More crates. Oh, healing wards. Potion of Restoration. You see, the hardest thing from my perspective, and I don't know what the text says, is the start. So walking free does not mean anything, and I think it says about a key, perhaps? Don't you dare. Yeah, there you have why it, why there were so many items. Nope, no, nope. Come on, focus one of them down. And by banishing your opponent or one of them, you can basically prevent a lot of damage that you would otherwise take. Like yes, the skeletons are still going to use death pro, which is extremely annoying, but still, you'll prevent them from doing that 50 chaos damage by every hit to your hero. Fuck you, skeleton. Book of the Dead, so let's get up to the Archmage, we know less healing, Wand of Lightning Shield, and I'm probably going to use more mana on the Archmage, just because he has the Water Elemental, which is a very nice skill, very nice skill indeed. What do you need? Now, let's see if I missed anything. That barrel is invulnerable. Those are not... No, are those destroyable? Nope. They... This one is. Haha, sturdy war axe. And I thought I would forget something. Just like those barrels are not destroyable, so keep that in mind. Uh, what are bonus? Oh yeah, sure, let's keep that on the Blood Mage. There, so let's move on. Now I have several items at my disposal. And the inventory is beginning to quite fill- oh fuck off. Like if I didn't fight a few of you a moment ago. So let's do it like this. Let's do an agreement. You'll die, and I'll move on. What about that? Their ancient figurine and a potion of healing. Yeah. Storm bolt. And out of you. I mean, off with you. Ancient figurine. 
child's play. Oh, intelligence plus two. Let's keep that on Undo the. Uh, yeah. People. Let's give the wand of lightning shield to the blood mage. I mean, like, inventory management is important. At least from my perspective. And I took a second level of Brilliance Aura because it affects the Archmage himself. And there you see some more units that were joining once you free them. And aside from that, second level of Water Elemental is really nice. But, like, having more mana on all of those heroes is very useful to have. Like, I already have a Flame Strike level 2, so why not? Burn! Alright, no need to Flame Strike, not yet. See how the how powerful Banish is? Like, it still doesn't prevent the enemy from casting spells onto you. But you can, like, basically win any fight. Alright, there goes the Tomo's Strength. And intelligence plus two again. Let's move an item. Now my heroes are quite hurt, but I think I can see. Well, see. I think I'll wait. Oh, more f oh priests! That's what I was looking for. Like a reason to don't use my healing items. So this will be control group two. This will be control group 3. Oh, they even have a master level. Oh, great. So priests will be control group... This will be 2. This will be 3. This will be 4. This is going to be very good for me. As of now, I can just keep my heroes on the front line. Riflemen in the back line. And keep footmen and priests protected. Oh no, I'm not walking into that. No, 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 no. Let's see. Ah, yes. What's that? What the fuck is that? Something about Murlocs or Murgo? Murgo, Murgo. Oh, it spawns the. Oh no. Well, I need to get in. That's one thing I need to do. There. Oh no. This won't go well. So I need to beat them to death. And then I need to get in and destroy those ziggurats, else I'm going to get utterly destroyed. Oh, why, do, why do they keep spawning? I mean, I'm far enough to don't aggro them, right? Someone in I mean, this could be easily used as a gold farm, perhaps. Yep, this could be used as a gold farm. They die fairly quickly. I can just try to rush in. Maybe. Right, so let's get in. Oh dear, I might have, I might regret that. Oh, come on! All right, you are going to die, then, unfortunately. Oh wait, you're not. Banish, come on. Nope, he died already. Like, how do I get past this? Come on. Like, this is ridiculous. Come on. Come on, this is insane. How do I just like get through it? I can't move in because I aggro them every single time. And I can't move. I can't move anywhere. I can just banish the blood mage. But. Oh no, dispel that. Oh, it can be this. Oh. Alright, so let's see. Let's see if I can do it this way. Have that. Go in. Hello. Oh, is it dying that quickly? Uh, 
Oh well. Child's play. What do you I am your servant. You have my you require my rather bored. Uh, I think I'll just cut it to the point where I finally get in and destroy at least one of the cigarettes. All right, well, let's see if I can get in this way. Get the fuck out of the way. Need to get in. Just seriously. I, there's no way I'm getting in through this. Or maybe there is. Let's see if they burn. Yep, they will... <laughs> Please, there has to be a way to get in without too many of them spawning at the same time. Like, you see, I'm stuck here. Hmm. Now I'll just, I'll get to the point where I finally get in and destroy at least one of the cigarettes. And there I am. Finally got in after five minutes of trying. Managed to sneak in a hero and I created enough space to get the rest of my units in. One by one, may I say. It becomes quite annoying after a certain while. But at least, there is a chance that less powerful murlocs will be spawned and that is your salvation, because you can actually kill them off fast enough to get in. But still, this, this, should, this should get a bit of spawn rate nerf, or just like a, a way to get in. Now that I look at it, your only chance to really get in is when they are standing near the middle, you can just rush in, which is something I didn't do. But then again, you basically fuck up once, and you can never do it again. Except if you get too many weak murloc spawns. Oh, another anchor reincarnation. Alright. So this is the scenario where I need to keep some items. Alright, so let's do it like this. Keep potion, replenishment, teleport him back because he's greedy. Enchanted fire. Oh, regeneration. Oh, charges? No, no, thank you. There. And another anger reincarnation. So that's... So that's two angst out of three that I need to keep all my heroes alive. Nope, wait. Let's see. Woohoo, coins, what could go bad? Of course. Nothing except this big, big place of pain. But luckily enough, you have the damage and then you have the ways of healing up after the fight. But in this case, luring the enemy out from the healing can be useful, or just like attacking only with with ranged units. Burn Hydra, burn. There, and, and it's gone. Now I probably want to keep all... Uh, all of those runes for later because... Alarius Flute of Accuracy, what's what that? Now? now I want to keep... Now I want to keep those runes for later because... As it turns out, I have those fountains to regenerate from. Come on, take the item. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. There. Great. Now to grab the Helm of Valor. Brilliant. Let's do it like this. There, in and out. Quickly and clean. Oh, no references, no references at all. 
Oh look, Revenant of the Seas. Potion of invulnerability, no. Don't need that one. Oh, I... oh fuck. Nope, no, no. No, why is he... Yeah, well, fuck you. Stop it! Stop rain of firing my units. Because you will burn, that's why. Rope plus 10 intelligence? Sure, sure why not? To hell with you, demon. Alright, so. I'll just keep the healing for. No. Let's keep the druid pouch. And do it like this. Oh, come on. Move, will you? There, here's your up and let's move forward. This is where the zoom out is applied by the game itself, because otherwise you would see it like this. Stop it. Ah uh, yeah, sure, keep Rain of Fire in your fellow Doomguard. Nothing bad's going to happen. And I assume this is a bridge. Home of Power. Oh, it gives a level. Well, this room do I want to... Probably just like the tank again. Come on, move on. Oh, this is already zoomed out. Great. Oh, another group of four Doom Guards. Yay! Hey. Oh, it almost lured only two of them. Stormbolt on you! Some of the fights later on can be achieved just by using heroes, but some of them can be increasingly difficult as well. Start moving. Come on. Nope. There. Die, demon. Oh, Crown of Kings plus 5. And we're greater healing, just what I needed. Alright, Crown of Kings. Yeah, sure. Let's leave that over here. Get a flame strike. Is someone injured? What is it now? What do I want to What? Archmage's vault is filling up. That's great news, right? Oh, another tome of power. Oh, let's get transmute then. Greed is good, isn't it? There, let's start the greed. Greed operations. Oh hey, you're gold now. Ooh, a lot of gold. Even more gold. Gold. Oh look, it's the enemy. I'm sorry if I sound ironic. 
Yeah, I don't mean to. Alright, Potion of Divinity. Orb of Frost. Those are some... Interesting items, if nothing else. Like, I don't... Probably only the stat items will win. Probably. Alright. Alright, let's put them on the ground. I'm not going to sort them by anything. For 25 seconds. Hmm. I can hardly wait. I'm going to keep the potion on. What about the tank? No. Let's do it like this and this and this. Oh, more gold. You can basically transmute transmute your way through your opponents. Lane strike. 